What is going on everybody? It is Fitzmiller and the new tow rig back here with another video. Now today we're gonna be doing a little bit of walk around, show you guys the rig and then talk about future plans. This also started a long time ago. I don't know if you guys know of Quentin True Blue. He had his huge OBS. I think his was an F350 because it was the extended cab. I don't remember if it was gas or diesel. Dude, seeing that thing, seeing him have that truck and tow around all his cars was like, dude, I want, I want one of those one day. Chase started working in advance thinking, hmm, I might, I might want a rig down the road what should I get? Chase and Pedro both said 7.3s. Instagram Live, what should I get? Everybody said a 7.3. Now, personally, I've not always been a Ford fan, and this is probably one of the only Fords I would buy, but that's how I got into an OBS F250. Let's get right into today's little walk around and update, show you guys the rig. This is my 1992 OBS Ford F250. It has a 7.3 IDI non-turbo. This thing is a rig and a half, dude. This thing is like driving a abrams tank only things i've done so far is change the oil and give it a wash it did come on these brand new tires which is awesome don't have to buy new tires and in general this thing is solid now it does have its quirks it does have its issues but all around we made it the three hour drive home and this thing is still doing great right now it is just stock suspension the front leaf springs are sagging a little bit that's why it has more rake than we would we would like it does have a different color lift gate i don't know what happened but it does open and close as you guys as can see, I went ahead and got my weighted plate. We set it to 15,000 pounds. So whether it's towing the Skyline around, towing the drift car around next spring, still don't have it yet, but we'll get one. All around, great parts hauler. One cool thing I like about these trucks is that they have the steel beds, not the aluminum. And while they rust, they're 10 times stronger than the aluminum. So on the inside, of this old truck. It's got the old blue, kind of like my D21 had. This thing's got 148,000 miles on it. Does have four wheel drive that works and just a pretty basic OBS old Ford interior. Same on the passenger side, not a whole lot going on in here other than the ripped seat. There is a bench seat in the back. This folds up nice, probably fit five or six people in here if need be. Under the hood, we have the beast of this machine. This is a 7.3 IDI non-turbo. This is a tank and a half. If you guys are familiar with the 1UZs that Lexus have, the million mile Lexus, well, this is the million mile Ford motor. The main things I had to look for before purchasing this truck was blow-by. If you guys don't know what blow-by is, it's compression escaping through the tops of the cylinders. Actually get up here into the crankcase, I believe. One way to check for that is checking for smoke coming out of the oil cap. And the main thing you're worried about there is pressure. So if it's a little bit of smoke, chances are you're all right. If it's pressure, if it's shooting smoke out of here, that's not good. That motor is not gonna last as long versus a motor that doesn't have blow-by. Another pretty common place for blow-by to occur is at the bottom of the motor. So if you start it up and it's, it's smoking out of the bottom of the motor, it probably has a little bit of blow-by. Now, luckily for me, this truck didn't have either. It didn't have any smoke out of the oil cap. It didn't have any smoke coming out of the bottom. And it's a, it's a solid motor from what I can tell so far. Next thing I wanted to look for was just making sure there's no crazy major leaks. Now on an old diesel, low RPMs, low idle, these have a lot of vibrations. So cake buildup, I'm not too worried about that. But as far as pissing leaks, that's what I was looking for. This thing checks out just fine. Apparently this thing had the valve covers replaced recently, the fuel pump replaced recently, and it had, I think the tank replaced as well. All around, like I said, I drove this thing three hours home. It was a tow rig for the previous owner for the last two years. The last thing I needed to check on this truck was just how it drives right so get it up to speed and these having front end ball joints i think they have like two on each side the truck has a chance of not driving how it should got it up to speed this thing does 70 just fine there's no crazy shake there's no crazy wobble obviously the steering is not the tightest but it's a truck and it's almost 30 years old we're gonna be all right another cool little quirk or feature about the f250s we have two separate gas tanks now unluckily for me only one of mine works there's actually a little switch in here on the interior to switch from one gas tank to the next if i wanted to do that it would be the switch right here next to the light switch it over and get your second gas tank working one's plenty get about two 250 350 miles a tank uh, we're not taking this thing out on road trips or anything just yet it's a hauler all right y'all let's jump into the future plans we have for this old truck now we're not going to go too crazy on it we are going to start with the maintenance and the only thing that this truck needs mechanically is a belt the belt squeaks a little bit and probably a pulley if that's causing the belt to slip and make that squeaking noise figure that out in a little bit besides that 
I want to get some clear headlights for this thing. We're going to go clear all the way around. So we're doing clear headlights, clear tail lights, LEDs all the way around. I want a four inch front lift slash leveling kit. I don't know what the four inch would be considered. Need to fix this. All right. Like I may be a car guy at heart and that's where the whole fitment thing comes from, but we, we need this thing to be level. All right. And I don't know if you guys heard, but recently December 4th was the first day that people could get ticketed and impounded because of Carolina squat. Thank God. We need to level out the front of this truck. We are going to be keeping this thing grandpa spec. We're not doing any crazy wheels or anything right now, especially since this thing has brand new tires on it. If anything, we'll tint it just a little bit. I don't want it to be too dark. And then I do want LED cab lights as well. It's time we start up this thing. And let me tell you, this thing sounds like a tractor. It sounds like a proper machine. It's one of my favorite things about this truck too. So let's get this thing started and I'll show you guys. Now, if you guys don't know, diesels have glow plugs instead of spark plugs. I am still learning a whole lot about diesel motors compared to gas motors. So far, what I've read and what I've picked up on is that they start with compression. So there's gotta be a lot of compression to get this motor going. You can't just use the last of your gas and ramp crank it up to start the truck. When you turn it on, you can't start it right away. You guys hear that clicking? That's the glow plugs heating the motor up, getting ready to start it. We're gonna cycle the glow plugs through one more time and then we should be good. There we go. Dude, listen to this beast. Listen to this thing, man. Oh my tractor, dude. Tractor and a half right here. Now, do I wish this thing was a turbo? Absolutely. Am I bothered at all that it's not a turbo? Absolutely not. Not having a turbo, in my opinion, is just less stuff to break. This thing is a rig. It doesn't need to go fast. We're gonna be just fine. Funny enough, one of the only downsides people had to this truck was, oh, it's, it's slow. It can be slow. It's a truck. It's a rig. It's not meant to go fast. Listen to this absolute tractor. I love it. <laughs> I absolutely love it. Didn't know how I was gonna feel picking up a truck, but so far, love this thing to death. Getting ready to take this thing out for you guys. Cool little feature, these nice little windows, dude. I think little stuff like this is what makes these trucks so cool. So we got these little little windows that pop out. All of the gauges in the cluster work. The OEM radio, dude, I haven't seen a radio like this in years. All of this works just fine. The heat and AC work, glove box works, the roll up windows work. All around, great truck, great purchase. Very happy that I got this thing. I guess I lied, the only thing that's broken is the little shift selector here but drive is three down and we're good to go kind of wish I got a truck sooner but that was the thought behind this is like man I want to get myself set up for the future I, now is a great time to buy a truck not with the truck market but just because I'm, I'm able to save a lot more right now and it's just a great time to pick up a truck for me personally so want to go ahead and get it out of the way and also have a chance to pick this thing up over the winter since the Skyline kit is getting here like two months late. It shifts smooth, it doesn't slip at all. It came with a trailer, little trailer module, all of that is still back there so this thing is pretty much tow ready. If I can get it to squeak for you guys. It's also the sheriff and sheriff boat over here so yeah, that's the extent of the squeak. Like I said, it gets up to speed just fine, and this thing is a rig and a half. I just replaced the belt, and the squeak is completely gone. So the only mechanical issue, knock on wood, that was present, all good. So now we can get to uh, making it look a little bit cooler going from there, so bye. If you guys can tell, it's pretty cold out, so it took a second to get, get the old girl started. Grumpy Daisel for sure. She's on, man, we're good, we're letting her warm up. Today we're gonna be knocking out a couple different things, and I decided what the hell, I'm just gonna bring you guys along with it. We're gonna be taking this oil to advance. I think the idle just switched. Hopefully you guys heard that from like cold idle to warm idle. It's pretty cool. I think diesels do that, right? Don't they have like a, a cold idle and then a warm one? All right, so we got the rig. Got the rig loaded up, taking a load to, I think either Goodwill or the dump or something my parents are modeling. So first actual time using a rig as a rig. Let's see if we can get a, we can get a little cold start going. I guess it's warm. Warm start, but this thing still sounds like a tractor. I love it. All right, 
Let's see y'all in a minute. Goodwill didn't take some of the stuff, which is fine. We ended up just going to the dump. The hog took his first load to the dump. No issues. This thing is great. It's honestly really nice having a truck around. So if you guys have any name recommendations for the truck, please drop them down below. My mom suggested Moons, as in Moons truck, so it might have to be Moons. The white also is kind of fitting with that. Be sure to subscribe for future content. We got the Skyline. It'll be back so soon, so, so soon, dude, I promise. We got the truck. I'm gonna be compiling stuff for this thing. And then of course, we're gonna be fixing the wagon all here very, very soon. But thank you guys so much for watching. This has been Fitz Miller and Moons back here with another video. We'll see you guys in the next one.